Hey guys, Sven Meister here, rolling with the Shasta. I've been uh, mooch docking up here at some family in outside Newport, Washington for the past week and it's been hotter than AMF. Um, so I've been kind of cleaning up my little leftover stuff that I've been bringing from along my gold prospecting. I set up my little my uh, top here. Been going over that, and I've got it all nicely organized in my little snuffer puddles. But today it's not about the gold, I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna get those sand dollars preserved that I've been finding along my travels along the coast. So this is my spot here that I can park for free and have my AC going right there. I don't need it today, but the last few days I sure did. Well, not me, but Igor did. My kitty cat. He's getting too hot. So thank you for to those guys for having me out here and having the power cord hooked up. Anyways, here are my, all my sand dollars I've been finding. And I'm just gonna do what I've been Finding out on, of course, YouTube, how to preserve them. Mix a little bleach. I already rinsed them out like three times and they were soaking in water. Long time. So anyways, so the steps is to get them into the bleach for like five to 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna rinse them out, which I do with two different buck, uh, buckets of water. And we'll just let them dry there and once they're dried they're gonna get a uh, mixture of wood glue and water on it and that's what I found out on YouTube should do the trick so here we go so the type of bleach I guess I bought at the store is more like a gel thing so I'm mixing this up Stirring it up with my screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver I brought with me, geez, like 25 years ago when I moved from Switzerland to the States. Don't want to lose that bad boy. Alright, so then pick some of these sand dollars. I'll just drop them in there. Do a few. This one's kind of green. Supposedly what the bleach mixture does is whitens them up some more and it'll take the rest of the stink out of them. But it also makes them fragile. That's why they say you're supposed to uh, do that wood glue mixture. So I'm gonna let these in there for like five to ten minutes and see what it does. Rolling with the Shasta, that's me on Instagram. If you wanna give us a follow. So these guys been sitting in here for like six minutes now. I'll pull one out. And I they're pretty fragile to start with and I was reading online and looking up YouTube it says the bleach makes them more fragile so in my opinion I'm happy enough what this looks like I'm gonna give it a good bath my first bucket And 
then the other one it's just clean water in there now we'll set this bad boy up in here 50 more to go okay so just for you to see it too I think this was the one that was pretty green mildew the green whatever it was algae it's gone I don't really like them too white anyways so I just wanted to show you that okie dokie I took out my second batch I put in there and this big fella here I believe was pretty freaking dark before it's amazing how much it brightens them up so unfortunately I don't have another one that's this dark this one here you can see it's got a lot of algae too so I'm just gonna drop my last batch in my bleach again and I'm gonna let these sit in there a little bit longer I'll take these these fellas out in the other bucket they go if you haven't seen a sand dollar, bef a sand dollar before they're pretty cool creatures they've got this little hole down here that's where they suck out and clean the dirt uh, the dirt I mean the sand I guess and uh, there is a lot of sand in them I let them I soak them I let them dry and I shook it out over and over and watch there is still some sand coming I guess that's what they do for a living. They clean the clean the sand. Line them all up. Here we go. Got them all done. I was saying 50 of them. I didn't count them, but it's actually three short of 50. So I have them all bleached. My oil change containers are fairly clean now, again. Hands disinfected. All the bleach water and stuff. Staining the little gravel road now. Put them in the sun and then tomorrow I'm gonna put that glue stuff on it. Stay tuned. Okay folks, here we go, day two. I have some uh, wood glue, I'll put some water in it, 50-50, see if I can find my stuff, stir this up pretty good, I mean you get the point and then I'm gonna use a little sponge brush some of these still have a little dust on them not dust sand all right made it a little bit difficult without the tripod keep my hands here so 50-50 wood glue and water so I mean you get the point
smear some wood glue mixed with water on them let them soak and let it dry and I'll flip them around and do, do the top part once they're dry ah, lots of work okie doke wood glue applied on the bottom side on all of them sure makes them yellow a little bit more Put this one out in the sun, it dries pretty quickly. You see the different top white. Maybe you see it. Who cares? So uh, anyways, I'm gonna let this dry for like an hour and then I'm gonna put that glue on the top. But I don't really know how these interesting creatures that have this thing on top that looks like Satan's salad, kind of, would react to a good PPG 2, 2K clear coat. So, whatever. I mean, I don't have, I don't have any of that in the back of my truck, anyways. So we'll try that. Whatever I can do. To make these guys not crumble so easy. Tops finished on all of them.